All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a simple mixed operations problem that mixes uh, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. It's 11 minus 11 times 1 plus 1, and we want to find out what that equals. And again, as always, if you'd like to pause the video at this point, uh, we'll come back and discuss this one together. Uh, or you may already have the answer, but either way, you can go ahead and pause. Uh, we'll be right back and work it out together. Okay, so you remember your order of operations. You know that multiplication has precedence um, over addition and subtraction. So we have to do the multiplication first. Um, and this one's really simple because it's just 11 times 1. Well, 11 times 1 is 11. Uh, so really, this could have been written as 11 minus 11 plus 1. Well, of course, 11 minus 11 is 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. Um, now, some people will actually do this incorrectly, and they might still get the same answer. Um, you, you know, they may be working left to right, and they'll just go 11 minus 11 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Where they may be getting the right answer, but they're actually solving it incorrectly. Um, because you actually are, you actually need to do the multiplication uh, first. Um, so this one, this one's fairly simple. Um, you know, a few ways to look at it. Um, I know a lot of people think that you would just go left to right, or a lot of people incorrectly think that you have to have parentheses around the multiplication to do it first. And again, that's not true. Why? Because multiplication is just shorthand for repeated addition. You need to resolve the multiplication before adding or subtraction um, because it's just a shorthand form of addition. So, um, you know, you could write this out differently. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but I'm just really trying to prove a point. 11 times 1 would be the same thing as adding 11 ones. <clears throat> of course, it's also the same thing as adding 1 11. But I think it makes a little more impact when I write it out this way. Uh, so if you wrote it out, uh, if you have this minus 11 times 1, I could write it out this way as 11 ones being added together. Why? Because 11 times 1 is the same thing as adding 11 ones. And that's exactly what I'm doing here in parentheses. Uh, and don't get stunned by the parentheses or don't, please don't comment and tell me, well, why did you add parentheses? When there weren't any in the original problem, you just got done telling me that I didn't need to have any. Well, first of all, you have to understand the parentheses I've added here don't change anything. It's just, I could have written it out this way. It's the same thing as saying 11 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 all the way out to here. And then you have the plus 1 at the end from the original problem. That still equals 1. Uh, I just wrote it in an alternative way. I was replacing the 11 times 1, and I knew that there was this minus sign out there. So when I put the parentheses around it, all that does is it says, hey, that minus sign affects everything inside of it. It's the same thing as writing it out this way. It's no different. So please, please uh, save yourself the time of commenting and saying, well, why did you add those parentheses? Um, there's a reason for it. It didn't change anything. Um, you know, if I, if I went in this problem and I did it, I mean, you can add parentheses that would change the problem. I mean, if I did something crazy like this, well, now I'm saying do this subtraction first. And then you would take 11 minus 11 first and get 0, and then have 0 times 1 plus 1, and you would get 1 that way. Uh, but that's that's not what we're doing here. So we're not going to do it. Oops. I got out of there. I did not mean to do that, but uh, you get the point. So we're going to bring this back up. Uh, again, the the correct answer to the problem is 1, uh, which you may have gotten the correct way, or you may have accidentally come across it by going left to right. Uh, but anyhow, I hope this video has been helpful. I've got some links in the description on the order of operation. I've also got some links uh, in the description regarding calculators. Uh, and the order of operations, uh, how different calculators uh, solve. And uh, so hopefully that's helpful. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, look forward to seeing everybody 
uh, in the next video.